Yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Can imagine you are. <laughs> it's not okay, is it? When does the glow up start? It is going to be amazing. I can see it over there. It ticks more boxes than like I could it wish for type thing. How do you feel about having a bit of musical theatre on today? It's just... <clears throat> I keep starting the vlogs like this and I just don't know when the glow up's gonna happen because I'm not looking too fresh. Good morning everyone. It's Thursday today and I miss you. I don't know why I've chosen to start the vlog because I actually have a meeting in one minute. So that was silly, um, but I'm gonna have my meeting and then I'll be back and we'll catch up. Okay. Good morning everybody. Sorry for that chaotic start to the vlog. Is that a parcel for me? <sighs> right, no parcel for me. Okay, happy Thursday. Welcome back. I have missed you. It's nice to... It's nice to be here. I don't know about you. I'm going to wait until I'm sat down and a bit calmer to fully explain my gratitude and love for my last video posted regarding David and I no longer being together. We don't promote plastic bottles on here, but we do promote hydration. And sometimes these things can't be helped, okay? Especially when you're in London. So, where do I start? You know, maybe now is not even a good time to be starting the vlog. You know, I like to start on a morning, you know, I like to finish on an evening. So I just thought I'd say a quick hello. But this morning I've been up, David and I actually walked the dogs together, I've been to PT, I've just had a meeting and now I'm going to fill up my car with petrol. Maybe I might go and get a Starbucks coffee and some egg bites because I haven't eaten anything today, I'm starving. And then I'm driving down to Weymouth. What? Why am I being so bizarre and strange and weird? What? Right, I'm going to leave you and I'm going to see you in Weymouth, Portland, wherever it is that I live. Hello, Baragdam. Yeah. <laughs> Help me, bitch. Hello, I do declare. <laughs> so much good cupboard space here. I said it in the last vlog. Yeah. I've just got to the house and as you can see, I've not even showered from the gym this morning, by the way. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm absolutely ravenous. I've just eaten a bit of yogurt, some dried fruit. Child is making a coffee, and I'm going to have mackerel on rye bread with mustard. I don't know if that's going to work. Do you think that sounds gross? Uh, it has potential. I'm just not sure yet. Okay. How many days have we been apart, shelves? Do you think now's a good time to clarify that we're not lesbians, despite uh, the rumours? Yes. We'd like to tell everyone that we're. Gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah not we're, not, we're not a couple. Um, Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> Came home to the most beautiful delivery from Kate at Clarins from Lena Stores. She'd sent me like a huge pasta dinner with some wine and some gorgy amaretti biscuits in this tin, which we're going to have right now. Af yeah, after yeah. my mackerel. <laughs> I did just think mackerel and coffee is probably not the one, but I'm just so hungry. So yesterday, oh, I've got some nice PR. Oh, hello. Went to Liberty to buy myself a new perfume that I wanted. And if you spent over a certain amount, you've got a goodie bag. So this one's gonna rummage through, but I also opened two PR things. Oh, what's this? Do you wanna get your recycling pile ready? I would like that, yes, very much. I got sent this, Necessaire the body wash from Monty PR, thank you very much for that. Do you like that brand? Yeah, I do. Actually. And the body bar. Oh, nice. Do you reckon that's an exfoliating one? Yeah. Is it? And it's an exfoliating bar, yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice, um... <laughs> it doesn't smell like too much. It smells like shit. <laughs> that smells like actual shit. That doesn't smell nice. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to be polite? I was trying to be polite. <laughs> it's not good. That doesn't smell of anything. Maybe it smells different when it's. Yeah, I actually think the box is the nicest thing about that. That's yeah. a shame. 
Anyway, packaging goes a long way. Um, and then this massive box of um, rare, be rare beauty products. We've got three matte lip creams, two under eye brighteners. Oh, these highlighters have gone like viral. They're meant to be amazing. Delish. Look at that. So Shalbs is still using. Have we said this on the vlog? No, this is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. <laughs> I gave Shelves a MAC Soft and Gentle highlighter nine years ago. Eight years ago. It was nine because you hadn't gone to New Zealand. No, I got it just before I left. Basically, I've, I've had it since 2015. And she still uses it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I bought Gypsy Water Perfume because I had the roller one from when I worked with Liberty last time and I'm obsessed with it. And then I wanted the spray. And then I smelt this. Um, scent Bal d'Afrique, mm -hmm. Bal d'Afrique. But they didn't though. have the they didn't have a perfume in stock, but they had this body cream. So I was like, okay, how do I get that off? Oh my god. Oh yeah, that is incroyable. Yeah. So I need to get a scent of that now. I'm a bit obsessed with Byredo scents at the moment, if I'm being honest. And then here's your goodie bag. Obviously, I'll be taking things that I want, but obviously, yeah, a bit of repair serum, Doctor Savage. Very nice. Look at you go. Look at me go. Who am I? Who am I? Hey, look. I could replace my um, free hairbrush that I got when I bought a, <laughs> a dry shampoo. Well, those you? brushes are really good. The wet brushes. Are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll love that. Have you tried Revelation? that brand before? No. There you go. Bamford. Oh, yeah, nice. That smells, smells um, very fresh. Mm. But are you? It's very yeah. earthy. Hair Sam bam. McKnight. Hair. Texture mist. Cool girl, it's called. I'm a cool girl. Are you? No. This, I think, is the thing. Aroma uh, sleep mist. Aromatherapy Associates Deep Deep Relax Sleep Mist. It's quite potent. Yeah, yeah. you can have that. that it's probably too witchy for you. That, I wish it's I had that. That's I thought quite... you were going to love that. Dr. No. Sibaj Lip Balm again. That looks nice. I like that. I think I tried some of that yesterday. Oh, yeah. Eyebrow gel. That's, you know that skin stuff that I love? The skin yes. tint. That's the same brand. Yeah, we like that. You having that as well? Yeah, you? I will have that. <laughs> that, sleep, no. that Aromathea Associates smells disgusting. Trish McEvoy. Trish McEvoy. <laughs> Trish McEvoy! <laughs> We're straight for the rest. Oh, that, that, well, she's sweet. That smells like a, one of my old teachers. It smel yeah, it smells like us at school, I think. Yeah, doesn't it? That's mm. nasty. Badass icon matte lipstick. Tina. Ooh, Tina Turner. What shade is she? Big wheels keep on turning. Brown. Oh, she's sexy. That's one she's for sexy. you, isn't it? New one for me. Thank you. Loves in her red lips. And then these two things are for me. Hydrolift gold face masks. Yeah, not into that. Yeah. And the space masks, they're, they're relaxing self heating eye masks, which will, which will transport you to another dimension, relieving tiredness, eye strain, and many other uh, earthly tensions. I need that right now, don't I? It's claiming to do a lot, that one. So I'm glad I spent a lot of money for two face masks. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Can imagine you are. <laughs> right, sort my rubbish out then, bitch. This is the most annoying thing about my situation at the moment. I feel like I'm living like this. I know. But it could, could be, be worse, couldn't it? Gotta be for the minute. Gotta be. Could be homeless. Could be. Rather than me sorting out all of my life, Shells just wants me to open up my clothes. I'm not trying on today, we'll do a try on tomorrow. Oh, I loved this. It was like a little lounge set, ribbed black, and then like a little crop that goes with it. I'm very into that. Yeah. Because we're little working from home girls. Midi. Do you know what? I fucking love your blue nails with that brown as well. Yeah. Blue's mm. my thing. I'm in the mood for buying <laughs> and trying. <laughs> da, 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 da. Love that. I've got some high wart shelves. <laughs> that print is not for me, but. Why? That's so I... chic. I've got a pair of high waisted black linen, um, like trousers from Abercrombie. Yeah, nice, nice. I sorry, it's the big, the, the size of the polka dots for me. I can't handle them. <laughs> you know me, not a polka dot girl. But 
different courses for different horses. Is that the phrase? Yeah. Oh, these are pajamas. <gasps> like those, do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I love them. Aren't they so cute? Little cotton, blue. Perfect. With a matching bottom. I'm gonna. <laughs> hey, we could play Doctor and Nurses in this. <laughs> Do you know the thing is, how am I going to convince people that we're not lesbians if you're going to come out with stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> they do look a bit like scrubs, don't they? They do. And now you've but like eternally put me off them. I really, I really like them. I don't care whether they look like scrubs. This is what she expects me to clear up. Fucking lazy bitch. Hands in here. With all her bags. Just throws it all around. Expects me to just tidy it up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I can't wait for you to find this on your camera because I've sabotaged it. Yeah? I'm taking over, bitch. You're a slag, you slag. I've come up from a nap. Actually, let's show everyone what I actually look like. After my nap. It's not okay, is it? When does the glow up start? You tell me, sister. <laughs> I just had to have a half hour nap. We went to Tesco's to get some stuff for dinner tonight. Came back and I was like, I need to go and lie down. Half an hour I had and I just woke up and I dribbled all over my hand. <laughs> and I've come upstairs and she's changing my bed for me. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Do you know why I hate it so much? Why? It makes me think that there's dust coming down. What? Do you remember that used to be in my bedroom at um, All Saints Road? No way, yes yeah. I do. Bloody awful, isn't it? <laughs> it's fucking terrible. I don't I like, like it, it when that touches the floor either. I don't think it is. It is. Oh, is it? This was my birthday present from Chess. This beautiful blanket from Arquette. Smells a bit. Yeah, but that's because it's wool. Like, well, that's quite stinky. That is a very woolly, woolly sheet. Can I smell. put that Febreze stuff on it? Yeah, it will go. It's just it's been in a bag, hasn't it? It needs to air out. Gorgy though, isn't it? Let's not Stunning. waft the wool smell all over then. Let's just try and do it. It's probably going to permeate the room, to be honest. What does that mean? Like, go all through the room. Well, I, I think know. you need to, like, fold it in half, babe. What are you, an interior design? By the way. Oh, the you've wafted off. the ball everywhere, look. <laughs> My lovely new bed. That's delicious. How gorgeous is this? We just made my bed, tidied up, and I'm just sat in my chair having a kombucha with the afternoon light. I'm about to make dinner. You may have seen me make this before, like the potato and green bean Greek dish with like fresh parsley, lemon and olive oil on top. But I'm going to do it today with chicken thighs because we've got to use these up. Um, it's literally so easy. That's pretty much all you need, oregano and cumin, salt, pepper, fresh lemon parsley, delicious. Spaghetti and pesto. Oh, nice. You could just, sometimes you can't go wrong with that. Oh, I know, it's all they have in. I'm quite easy to go shopping for them. You put in what you're trying to say. And the computer writes it for you better using AI. Well, I still look horrendous. We've I've just put dinner in the oven and Mrs. Shelby Grace George has has decided that we need to go and watch the sunset because it's gonna be amazing. It is gonna be amazing, I can see it over there. So we've just hopped in the car, shoved it in the oven to carry on cooking, and oh my god. Well, that was worth it, wasn't it? It is a beautiful place, isn't it? What are we doing? Dancing. 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 This is dinner, served up, ready to go. Just to put some black pepper on that and then halloumi, I'm gonna put honey, bit of lemon juice, mint. And there we go. That is, well, it's called fossil luggy, but it's not normally done with chicken, but it is what it is. Shelby's nan's over for dinner tonight. I don't know why I'm showing you her dish. And 
halloumi, lemon juice, honey, fresh mint. Time. There is no time. I'm not going to get the eight hours if I'm going to get up at six curry. It's just flowers are not going to be done. Quick, get off now. Let's go. Let's go. And bedtime. Then I'm that properly. Well done. <laughs> that Josephine, you've got to watch her. She'll keep you up, up late. Right. I actually have just showered and scrubbed and moisturised my body from head to toe and put some all my skincare products on but what I haven't done is done anything with my hair this is also clean hair may I just say it's just because I slept on it wet so like Hagrid Hagrid's wife is she's here today's vlog's been a bit chaos and I've still not had time to sit down and like chat to you properly so we are going to do that tomorrow um tomorrow's Friday I've got a couple of meetings in the morning but I'm going to do a fake tan tomorrow i'm going to catch up on everything that's going on and then tomorrow evening me and shelby's got a lovely little date night and um, we're going to have the pasta that kate from clarin sent me which i'll show you tomorrow so i'll see you in the morning man she is no you're gonna cry <laughs> you motherfucker you motherfucker <laughs> go on fry chicken i'm just getting ready to hit it <laughs> <laughs> This is um, my first time putting you in the bathroom cupboard of this house and I'm, I'm into it, I like it. I thought I'd actually say good morning properly because I haven't really chat, had a chat with you on this vlog. Ah! I'm gonna put a hair mask in, do some nice skincare. I am also gonna fake tan today but Shelves has just gone to the gym and I forgot I really need her to do my back for me so. I'll have to wait till she gets back for that. Let me just brush my teeth. I'm going to start with the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant because I feel like I've not exfoliated my skin in a while. I mean, it feels like actual shit, to be fair, but I've not been drinking enough water. I've not been sleeping as well or as much as I should have. You know, things are just not quite there yet. Okay, so... Where do I... This stinks. Firstly... I have never in my time online, okay, maybe bar filter drop, but that's kind of different. I have never had a response to anything the way I have to my last YouTube video. And it's, it's kind of made me a bit sad because I have tried to read every message, but I think it's actually impossible. You know, I love to try and at least reply to everyone or heart it or just acknowledge that I've seen it in some way but I've been doing batches every day of like an hour at a time I'll go through either Instagram DMs or the YouTube comments just trying to reply to them or you know acknowledge that I've seen them and I just can't get through them oh there have been such lovely messages people kind of reassuring me that they've been in the same position people saying that they're in a position where they didn't feel strong enough to admit that that's also how they felt it's been so insane. Just the love and support. You've all made me feel like I am just not alone in any way, shape or form. Yes, I have just tried to sort that out. And it's looking pretty angry, if I'm honest. So yeah, from the bottom of my heart, and I know when I, when I was editing the video back, I thought it was quite telling that I just got so emotional trying to explain how grateful I am for the online community that I have. I'm aware that I just, it's crazy. I'm so, so lucky. So honestly, thank you beyond. Bit of Elemis face mist. Dermalogica melting moisture mask. I feel like my skin needs moisture. My whole body needs moisture and hydration as well, but I'm hoping that that will help. So obviously I'm currently living down in Portland with Shelbs at her parents' rental, which she saw me move into two vlogs ago. They've been like insanely kind in letting us have this place until they have their holiday let until their holiday letting start. And it's beautiful, like the house is beautiful, the area is just so like picturesque and we've been on lovely walks and it's just been amazing. The only problem is that obviously it's so far away from where I am and where 
the dogs are where obviously London's a lot further away and it was wasn't exactly close for me anyway I've been in the car a lot and it's been quite stressful but also I'm trying to just stay in the mindset of it's temporary it's gonna there's gonna be an end in sight and at least I have a roof over my head which by the way whatever position you're in if you just want to moan about your situation don't ever feel like you can't because it could be it could be worse don't have that mindset but that is the mindset that is currently just sort of getting me through knowing that I will eventually be settled so I have managed to find a private rental property within the circle of people that we know which was my ideal situation because the rental market is insane at the moment don't exactly have a moving date right now which is really frustrating but it's out of my control and I'm just trying to weigh up all of the pros and cons and it's still a situation whereby I'm very lucky I would much rather rent off someone that I know um, the house is perfect for everything I need right now and although it's not in the location that I would have loved it's definitely um, it ticks more boxes than like I could it wish for type thing that's a plan I have somewhere that I am moving into it's going to be quite full on um obviously David and I have built a home and a house filled that home with furniture so we're gonna have to kind of like split things and I'm gonna have to get a lot of new things but that's okay <laughs> because I have also decided that no matter what it's now become one of my goals in life to hopefully buy a property on my own maybe next year or the year after so that I always have that as mine so although I'm going to be sort of spending money and buying lots of new stuff for this house it's going to be worth it and I'll try and buy things not try I will only buy things that will last and uh, will carry me sort of like through the years for anyone that doesn't know or I don't know if I've even mentioned it on here Shelves has spent the last eight years in New Zealand building up a really successful career as an interior designer stylist and she has come back to the UK and is now setting up her own business over here she's like I'm not just saying this she's incredibly talented just watching her <laughs> move bits around the little room that we've done here and she's helped me with some work stuff I'm like mesmerized watching her creativity come out I always I always felt like that when I used to watch mum teach hair as well I was always just kind of like in awe at their ability like I'm always in awe of watching a creative I think it's just like a really special thing Shelby's is going to be moving in with me I'm seeing this as like a nice little project for us both she's going to help style the house um which will just be amazing like and really fun for us to do so if you have any absolute must love homeware brands <clears throat> or anything to do with homes interiors then please link them down below because i will i would love to check them out and maybe find some new places that i've not like yet heard of small businesses and stuff like that as well It'd be really helpful hopefully by this weekend i may have more of an idea of the actual date that it could be that i'm moving and then i can start sort of like ordering stuff um i want to get the property painted as well so i can book a painter in the guy who did our house it, i just feel very unsettled at the moment i think is the thing but Anne said to me, remember that home is a feeling and it's like a feeling of peace and calm. And when you feel that, you can feel it anywhere. So I keep trying to remind myself of that. So yeah, that's kind of like an update, I guess. So today I'm going to have a really nice sort of self-care day. I have got some work to do. And then this evening we're going to have that nice pasta stuff. And then tomorrow I've got a night out with the gct lot so yeah a lot of driving feeling a bit unsettled but i'm also just aware i'm in transition this feeling won't last forever and it's totally okay to not feel like i have it all figured out right now that's what i keep telling myself anyway <laughs> i just have the most phenomenal support system it's it's insane like my friends and family and you know even like david and i to a certain extent we are it might be weird to some people but in a weird way we are also helping each other or have you know sort of early on in this process helped each other with how we're kind of both feeling and stuff so um yeah i feel very very lucky what else what other news do i have to update you on bills and i are going to america 
we've booked America. So mid-April, we are going to Nashville, New Orleans, Vegas and LA. I'm a little bit apprehensive about the itinerary. I feel like maybe we're biting off more than we can chew, but Bills is a wild one. This whole thing is such a process. It takes such a long time to feel like you've got a hold of your, a hold on your life, I think. Um, but for anybody who's going through the same thing or feeling or experience, my best advice is to literally just take one day at a time. And this is what Trace kept saying. She was like, today's problem is today's problem and tomorrow might bring an entirely different perspective on that or a different situation to deal with. So there's no point trying to think beyond that. So with that being said, I'm oiled, I'm face masked. I'm gonna make my bed and sort my clothes out a little bit because they are all over the place. And then when Shelves gets back, I can get her to tan my back. all over the sink with all my hair and face stuff that I cleaned it all up for you. Oh. Like that, do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but you notice me and the sink have a special relationship. You've got a lot of special relationships in this house with mm -hmm. household items and... Mm -hmm. Keep things clean, you know? Living with my princess now. Right. <laughs> Once again, I don't think they're going to be convinced that we're not a couple. I just don't know what to do because you keep saying weird things. Yeah, they're not. It's mm. funny though. Yeah, you just keep making it weird. <laughs> That's all right. But once again, for the viewers at home, as much as I love Shelby Grace George, not in that way. But it is okay if, if we were lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We'd be a power couple, to be honest. So. <laughs> we would be a power yeah. couple. That's why we can't ever be together. It'd be too much. Ain't no stopping us now. We're, We're on the move. move. Yeah. We haven't, got, we haven't added much um, morning music today. No, we haven't. Uh, but we've had some great conversations. We have had some. We had a lovely morning coffee. Mm. Overlooking the. Uh, well, just a bit of morning sunlight, wasn't it? Yeah. What's the date today? Friday the 3rd of March. How do you feel about having a bit of musical theatre on today? I'm never going to feel okay with that, but for you, I will always do it, you know this. So how, so can I just tell you the song that I want to listen to? Yeah. It's called It Won't Be Long Now by In The Heights. If you could give the original Broadway recording, that would be lovely. Yeah. Or do you want to watch West Side Story together? Ooh, no, not really, yeah. I could never be in a relationship with you. I know. And that's why fans, dear fans, that's why we'll never be together. Oh, there's plenty, I don't like musical theatre. There's plenty of reasons. Nothing to do with the fact that, you know, she fancies a pants off me or anything like that. Just that I don't like musical theatre, so we can't be together. There's your West Side Story, bitch. Now, it's, it's the voice, sorry, it's the singing, I can't. All right, turn it off, I can't deal with you moaning. I'm going to make this chickpea, um, I don't know if we will be having it in a sandwich, but me and Shelves are obviously obsessed with Tim Spector, the gut health man, and his his business is called like Zoe Health or something like that, I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't fully know what it is, but it's some sort of like personalised gut health test that you can do. I do really want to do it. And they put loads of really lush recipes on. So I'll link it down below so that you can follow them because they do wicked recipes. But we're making this chickpea, chickpea spring onions, pickled jalapenos, 
dill, half a lemon, olive oil, salt, and you like mash it all up, all the chickpeas, and then you put it in a sandwich with avocado and tomato, which we don't have, but whatever. So yeah. Yeah. It's a problem. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, can't get stuff. I really can't. I'd like to put this in a blender because I don't know how she's mashing chickpeas in that video, but it's not working for me. There's no one in this house fucking with my dishwasher and how I like to put it. I would touch the dishwasher's, I mean, I know, it. which is beautiful. Yeah, all the time in the house. There's rules around the dishwasher packing, okay? Actually, do you know I used to hate mustard, and Did now you? can't get enough. Never too much, never too much. <gasps> anyway, just to show you our lunch because I've just deleted all of the footage by accident. We made this Zoe recipe chickpea thing on top of to sliced tomatoes and rye bread, and it's delicious. And I'll leave the recipe below. Dinner is served. This is the uh, artichoke and truffle ravioli and the papa deli. I just can't say that with an Italian accent, really. Papa deli. Papa deli. Our red wine. Mi date. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I have, have, I have washed my tan off. Lovely colour. Um, it always looks better the next day, I think, but it's my favourite one. It's the Ashley Graham Saint Tropez, my number one. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to make sure that I look nothing but peng on the next vlog because I'm sick and tired of this. But I hope you've enjoyed. I've loved being back and yeah, my ears are burning. Someone's talking about me. See you next time.